I'm really sure you guys are tired of hearing from me now, but uh, I just wanted, the last thing I wanted to say, I'll probably be posting up the rest of my Bowser content, um, and then I'll probably stop cosplaying Bowser for a little bit. I know a lot of people like my Bowser, and I love my Bowser. He's something that I really, really enjoy. But I'll be taking a pause for two reasons. One, I really don't like that TikTok seems to get mad at me every time I do a comfort character, and I wanna pull back and redesign something really fun for him. Two, I really wanna get one of those male chests for him next time I cosplay him, so I can like do a little bit more, have a few more effects, even do an open shirt kind of like swim Bowser, or just an open shirt kind of muscle, you know, Bowser. So I gotta save up for that. If you like to help me, I have a Kofi and I have some of them in my Amazon wish list. So my link's in the bio. So Bowser will be bye bye for a while, but I appreciate you guys who came here for him and love him as much as I do. Hello everyone, I'm Midnight Persona. You might remember me in such things as illegal Bowser, positive bullying, and being grade A beef. I'm not sure who noticed, but on August 6th, I was banned for a day for cosplaying Bowser and doing special effects. Um, I don't smoke, I can't, I have asthma, uh, but I do have a special effects pin that I don't inhale anything just to get that kind of, you know, smoky fire effect for Bowser. TikTok got upset with me, someone mass reported me, I, I, I don't know, actually can tell you, I can't tell you what happened. As of recently, it's felt like someone's just been watching my account to mass report and mass like get rid of me I guess. I really do my best to do a lot of wholesome content to do Isabel and positivity and smiles and a lot of you probably followed me from stuff like Isabel, Inko, or Miss Frizzle. If you can't tell, I'm very much so a mom friend. Also, Isabel's gonna be coming back soon. If I still have an account by that point, I've actually been planning out this whole summer thing with Isabel. I've just been not feeling very good, so I haven't been able to put together the outfit that I really want to do for it. Sometimes I like to experiment and do different types of cosplays. Sometimes I like to look attractive in my cosplays. Those of you who don't know, I turned 30 this year. I'm 29 years old, and yes, I'm still cosplaying. I really adore the hobby, and it's been a stress relief since 2009 for me especially living in a world that doesn't accept me for who I am. So being another character, having fun, learning makeup, and just going nuts has always been something really fun for me. As for TikTok, I've used it as a way to produce my skits and the fun things that I like doing for conventions onto a platform for other people to see. I actually compete and do competitions to make people smile, and I do skits and parodies, and I have so much fun with it. The past two years has been absolutely terrible. It's been treacherous, it's been miserable, and honestly, that goes like triple if you're black or LGBT or honestly different in any way. The thing no one wants to talk about is it's also terrible if you're plus size. People look at us as if we're the disease carriers as well. Like, it's our fault if we die because we're fat. It's our fault if we don't feel good because we're fat. And it's like, fat equates to everything terrible that happens to us. But that's beside the point. I use my platform to spread information and positivity to people. I post what I want because I'm an adult and I'll post what I want. If you're a minor on my page and you don't like it, you can leave. I don't want to make my page strictly for adults, but I will if I have to. Thank you for listening. So now that I talked about TikTok being ridiculous, um, I wanted to talk about some of the plans that I had for this app that I really want to share with you guys because I've been so excited to do them, but who man, depression is, is absolutely terrible. <laughs> With things going on, I've been feeling absolutely terrible and miserable and I've just wanted to produce and make fun content and have fun and my brain won't let me! But some stuff that I've been working on in the background. I'll be doing a photo shoot with my best friend Subaru and we're doing Jesse and James from Pokemon. I planned on doing some Sonic cosplay soon. Isabelle's coming back along with me doing Celeste, Pave, and Label. Possibly some other Animal Crossing people, if I can think of anybody else I want to do right now. I'm really nervous because I'll be starting up going to conventions again soon. I have plans to go to Rose City Comic Con to finally meet up with one of my besties online, Betty. Now I'm just, I'm super hyped because I might actually have a guesting spot at a convention soon. Me! Guesting somewhere! 
And it's been such a blessing and it's been so great and I'm so happy about it. But on top of all the good things that have happened, I have been bulldozed and ran over with bad things too. So while I try to keep a positive light and try to be really fun and loving and happy, I, I've been ripped to shreds lately. Between the people bullying me, calling me names, and you know, just being people, I've had bad things happen to me, like bad news, and it feels like this app is really trying to push me off. <laughs> but aside from that, I have so many cosplay plans and things coming up, I, I barely have time to think. And I have been trying to escape into this world of cosplay as not to just worry about all the bad stuff that's happening. But oh boy is it hard when they might take away the only thing that really makes you happy and it's creating. And oh, it's, it's just, it's really difficult. But I did want to say thank you guys. I'm blessed to have you guys here. I'm blessed to have a following. I'm blessed to have friends who support me and love me. Outside of this app, I have a Twitch. Uh, I have an Instagram. I have a Twitter. Uh, I have a Facebook, though I don't use Facebook very often. I have a Kofi if you'd like to support me or if you just want to check out some behind the scenes stuff that I do from time to time and, and little blogs talking about stuff that I do. I have a lot of other platforms that you can find me on and I am Midnight Persona on all of them so please go find me on other platforms. I have YouTube and I want to start doing more makeup tutorials and stuff for that because makeup tutorials are a lot longer for me and it's hard to do them on this app. Because this application doesn't like to spread my content or show me unless I'm doing something that's self-deprecating or my own trauma, please go look at me on these other apps. So that way you can look forward to all the stuff that I'll be doing and the places I'll be going soon. So thank you guys for being here, honestly. Introduce yourself as the dumbest shit your D&D character has ever done. Hello, my name's Thomas. I have made a mute girl so irritated with me that she decided to start talking. I irritated her to the point that she was blessed with a miracle of speech solely by hitting on her constantly. out of 25, go touch some grass. your cash app and see what people send you stitch this if you were a deity what kind of offerings would you prefer cows not like sacrificing cows like plush cows sunflowers red bulls sugar-free red bulls cannot be regular red bulls only sugar-free something shaman king related preferably a figure animal crossing things like if you bring me an animal crossing amiibo card like that 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 would that would that would summon me for sure but it can't be one of the ones you don't like it has to be someone that you like pastel things kittens kit kittens galaxy themes like just like anything with a galaxy kind of theme on it and if it's a praying situation you have to just like tell me about your day but the best parts of your day for like joy and 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 positivity yeah moment for the day cosplay edition if you could cosplay any character who would it be i actually have quite a few characters i've always wanted to cosplay but i'm too scared to do so i'll give a top three number one shantae half genie hero i adore christina v and i love shantae so much it has been such a big part of my video gaming experience and i've always wanted to do her but she's 
scantily clad. Who? The Waltz from Final Fantasy IX. A lot of people don't remember them, but it was a big fluffy, the one that I want to do is the big fluffy dress, I think it's number two, with the giant wings, and it's so pretty, and it'd be such a fun thing to construct, but it's so much, and it'd probably be really expensive, so I probably can't do it yet. Number three, Santa from League of Legends. Senna is so beautiful and she's such an amazing character and I love her so much but I it's it's another self-confidence thing that I don't think I can fit the aesthetic of what Senna is but I love her so yeah those are things I've always wanted to cosplay cosplayers I have a challenge for you take five to ten cosplays that you have but you have not finished yet and list them right here and have your followers pick which one you should finish next Duet or stitch this with what your D&D character looks like. Hello there. I'm just using this as an opportunity to brag about my D&D character uh, that I've been doing in a campaign that my husband's running for a while. This is Sister Highland. Her full name is Penelope Highland. She is a cleric, uh, kind of a bit of a battle cleric because she is also a minotaur and a halteress. Yes, she's part of both because I couldn't decide. My husband and I like to run monster girl campaigns where all the creatures are actually monster girls from Monster Girl Encyclopedia and we are allowed to pick monster girl type characters. My lovely darling, Sister Highland, which I will be cosplaying soon at some point. She is a noble leader of a church that specializes in health and wellness. If you know, you know. She's a very proud mother type of character who likes to make sure that everyone in the party is constantly well taken care of. And boy, has she gone through trauma. When I do cosplay her, I plan on telling you guys. Duet or stitch this with what your D&D character looks like. I'm back because this is another excuse to show off another D&D character. If you draw me, that's awesome. But honestly, I'm just using you as an excuse to show off my D&D characters. This is Ape. My husband runs a League of Legends D&D and it is so much fun. She is a Valstare. She is an old Vistayan back from the Blessed Isles. She's an old owl Vistayan. She likes to travel the world, but she mainly lives in Ionia, the Kamungu jungle, and in Mount Targon. She's like thousands of years old. And she's somewhat of a legend around the other bird Vistayan, but they've never actually seen her because she's a mystery. We haven't had an interaction yet, but I'm so excited for her to meet Rakan and Zaya because I'm just, I just really want to see the reaction of it. But the League campaign is so much fun and and Ape is like, I love her so much. She's a very old woman who's just very, very kind and very sweet to everyone. And if you give her tea, she's very, very easy to convince to do a lot of things. Back senile, but she's not senile. Like main character. How hard did puberty get you? Used to pick only. If you like smoking weed, let me hear you say hell yeah. Gotcha. Get these motherfuckers. Pot is ruining America. You thought I fold up like a book, but I'm a Kindle. Ha <laughs> ha. How come all this conversation me, 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 me? How come all your ladies, they want me, 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 me? One, two, the three, three, seven. I'm a lead, lead, lead. Hey, but can you shape shift? Being a black woman, hold on. Hey girls, You're fucking up the boy shit. Friends. This is the only thing we have. Let's put the only thing we have. In now we don't place. even have Twitch because you dumb, big titted fucking thoughts. Us girls, we are so. Soft skin, red lips, so kissable Hard to resist, so touchable Too good to deny it I'm fucking sick of it I'm fucking sick of it I'm fucking sick of it Oh I'm Fucking tired of this shit, but on and on I push. I'm fucking sick of it, but I can't quit cause I need money. Stitch this and let me know, would you date you if the opposite filter hit on you?
I look like my dad and mm -mm, mm -mm. I've never done one of these so I think I'm gonna do one cosplayers stitch this with the weirdest strangest cosplay that you've done or plan on doing in the future I'll start Starting with my weirdest, it's probably Xehanort from Kingdom Hearts because everyone looks at me, pastel cute, and I shaved my head and was an old man for an entire day. Things I want to do? I really, really, really want to cosplay General Grievous. But no, 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 I don't want to do an entire robot suit. As I told my husband, I would like to do Ubu Grievous. I'd like to put together a very, very cute outfit while my husband is Obi-Wan Kenobi. And I want the both of us to walk around Khan. And when I lose him, I will simply show up and say the following. General Kenobi. Because General Grievous is my favorite character in Star Wars. So yeah, that's, that's, it's, it's happening. I think we're going to do it for Star Wars Celebration whenever it happens again.